it's me again. I'm Teacher Mitch. Welcome back to another video lesson in Mathematics 6. This lesson is for week 5 of the second quarter, which is about Gemdas, Order of Operations. Milk Base Learning Goals Interpret and explain the grouping, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, or gemdas rule. Perform two or more different operations on whole numbers with or without exponents and grouping symbols. To start our lesson, basahin at intindihin po natin ang problem. Marco and Zion both working on the value of the expression. 3 plus 5 times 3 minus 10 divided by 2. However, they have different answers. Marco answered 7, while Zion answered 13. Of the two students, who answered correctly? Kung naaalala nyo ang MDAS rule lesson nung kayo ay grade 4, yun po ang i-apply natin. Ano ba ang MDAS? M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. Multiplication and division are performed first from left to right, followed by addition and subtraction. Whichever comes first from left to right. Using the expression 3 plus 5 times 3 minus 10 divided by 2, unahin natin ang multiply at divide. Sa left, nauna po ang multiply. So we have 5 times 3, 15. Then isunod natin ang divide. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Copy 3, then the operation signs plus and minus. Next is add and subtract. Since nauna ang addition sa left side, mag-add muna tayo. 3 plus 15, 18. Copy 5 and copy minus sign. So, pwede na tayong mag-minus. 18 minus 5 equals 13. Therefore, Zion got the correct answer by following the M dash rule. What is Gem dash? Gem dash is the rule or order of operations that can be used to simplify or evaluate complicated numerical expressions. So, bawat letters ng GEMDAS ay may ibig sabihin. G is for grouping symbols. Sa grouping symbols, meron tayong ginagamit na parentheses, braces, and brackets. Ibig sabihin, isosol muna natin ang nasa loob ng grouping symbols bago ang ibang operations. Next is for exponent. Pagkatapos natin isolve ang mga nasa loob ng grouping symbols, hanapin natin ang number na may exponent. Isolve natin ang value. Then next is multiplication. Sa multiplication, merong mga ibang sign or symbol na ginagamit. So, ang common ay yung times. Kung minsan ginagamit din ang dot at parenthesis. Na ang ibig sabihin ay multiplication. And then, we have division. Kung mapapansin natin, magkapareho sila ng kulay dahil vice versa ang gagawin natin. Kapag nauna ang multiplication sa left, magmultiply muna. Pero kapag nauna ang divide, magdi-divide muna. 
Then, pagkatapos ng multiplication and division, we have addition and subtraction. Kapag nauna sa left ang addition, mag-add muna. Then, kapag nauna ang subtraction sa left, mag-subtract. Evaluate each numerical expression. Letter A. Parenthesis 8 times 5 plus 4 squared divided by 8 minus 10. Step 1. Perform all the operations inside the grouping symbols. Parenthesis, braces, or brackets. So, meron tayong parenthesis. Uunahin natin ang nasa loob. 8 times 5 equals 40. Step 2. Simplify the exponential expressions. So, we have 4 squared. Isimplify natin. 4 times 4, we have 16. Then, copy or bring down 8 and bring down 10. Kopyahin natin ang mga operation. Plus, divide, and minus. Step 3, multiply or divide in order from left to right. So, hanapin natin ang multiplication and divide. So, meron tayong divide. Wala tayong multiplication. So, mag-divide tayo. 16 divided by 8 equals 2. Copy 40. Copy 10. Copy plus sign and minus sign. Step 4, add or subtract in order from left to right. Since meron pareho ang addition and subtraction, ang nauna sa left side ay plus. So, mag-add muna tayo. 40 plus 2, 42. Ring down 10, copy minus sign. 42 minus 10, the answer is 32. Letter B, 3 squared times 7 minus parenthesis 30 divided by 6 minus 4 plus 2. Step 1, perform all the operations inside the grouping symbols, parenthesis, braces, or brackets. Sa loob ng parenthesis, meron tayong divide, minus, and plus. Using M dash, Mauuna muna ang divide. 30 divided by 6, 5. Bring down 4, bring down 2. Copy minus sign and plus sign. Ilagay pa rin sila sa loob ng parenthesis dahil hindi pa natin nasusol. So, meron tayong minus and plus. Ang nauna sa left ay minus. 5 minus 4, 1. Bring down 2. 1 plus 2 sa loob ng parenthesis equals 3. So, tatanggalin na po natin ang parenthesis. Step 2. Simplify the exponential expressions. So, we have 3 squared. I-simplify natin ang 3 squared. Ang ibig sabihin ay 3 times 3 equals 9. Bring down 7. Then copy times and minus. Step 3. Multiply or divide in order from left to right. So dito, nauna po ang multiplication. So we have 9 times 7, 63. Copy 3, then copy minus sign. Step 4, add or subtract in order from left to right. So, wala tayong addition, kaya subtraction. 63 minus 3, the answer is 60. Letter C, 7 to the first power plus braces to parenthesis 12 minus 5. Plus 32. Minus 18 divided by 3. Step 1. Perform all the operations inside the grouping symbols, parentheses, braces, or brackets. 
So dito sa example, meron tayong braces at sa loob ay merong parenthesis. Kapag ganito ang example, unahin po ang nasa loob ng parenthesis. So we have 12 minus 5, 7. Copy 2 and copy 32. Lalagyan natin ng multiplication sign ang gitna ng 2 at 7 dahil ang ibig sabihin ng parenthesis ay multiply. Then, copy plus. So, meron tayong dalawang operation. We have multiply and add. So, syempre, uunahin natin ang multiply according to M does. So, meron pa rin braces kasi hindi pa natin nasusolve. 2 times 7, 14. Bring down 32 and plus sign. 14 plus 32, we have 46. Mawawala na po ang braces. Step 2. Simplify the exponential expressions. So, we have 7 to the first power. Kapag isimplify natin, the answer is 7. Bring down 18 and bring down 3. Copy the operations. We have plus, minus, and divide. Step 3. Multiply or divide in order from left to right. So, hanapin natin ang multiply or divide. So, meron lang tayong divide. Kaya, magdi-divide muna tayo. 18 divided by 3, 6. Then, bring down 7, bring down 46. Copy plus, copy minus. Step 4, add or subtract in order from left to right. Since nauna ang addition, mag-add muna tayo. 7 plus 46, 53. Copy 6 and copy minus. 53 minus 6 equals 47.